Okay, we got a vectors question here. We have the quadrilateral uh, O, A, Y, B. A few points marked on it. Diagram is not accurately drawn. O, A, that's uh, from O to A, is the vector 3, A, and O, B is equal to 6, B. Notice that A and B are both in bold. If we need to write those things down, we generally will just underline them, rather than trying to do a bold letter. So, first, express A, B in terms of A and B. So that means you it's the path from A to B. So here's A, there's B. What we need to do is find a path that goes from A to B that involves small a's and b's. Okay? Now the easiest one looks like from starting here is to go backwards down this 3a and then the right direction up the 6b. Which means that a b is equal to minus 3a, since we're going backwards down it, so minus 3a, and you underline the a, plus, going forwards up 6b, so it's 6b, and that's that. Some people might write it 6b minus 3a, but it doesn't really matter, both are correct. Okay, next part is the hardest part. It says x is the point on AB, here's the line AB, and there's the point X, and it says that X is the point on AB such that A to X, so this length here, A to X, to X to B, so we've got a ratio, A X compared to X to B is the ratio 1 to 2, which means that this length here is twice as long as this length here. It also means that this length is a third of all of that. Okay? And it says also that BY is 5A minus B. So there's BY from there to there and it tells us that it's 5A minus B. B. Prove that OX is equal to two-fifths of OY. So there's O to X, and we've got to prove that it's two-fifths of O to Y. So basically, we need to work out that, and we need to work out that, and hopefully we'll find that they are both the same. Okay? So first of all, we're going to find O, Y, or two-fifths of O, Y. Okay. So, there's O. There's y. To get from o to y, following paths that we already know, I would go up 6b and along 5a minus b. Okay, so that plus that. So o y is that plus that. So o y is equal to 6b plus 5a minus b. Now, when you gather your like terms, or well, you know, simplify it, you end up with a 6b, take away b, that gives you a 5b, and a 5a. 5b plus 5, oops, a. 5b plus 5a, ignore that little bit there. So, that's oy. We want, remember, two-fifths of oy. So, two-fifths of oy is equal to two-fifths of each of these. Now obviously there's five of them, so one-fifth would be one, two-fifths would be two. So it's just going to be 2b plus 2a. So that's the target. Two-fifths of oy is that. If we find ox, we are hoping that it will be the same as this, 2b plus 2a. So let's begin trying to find O X. So part two, let's have a look at it. Here's O, there's X, 
and I'm thinking that the best way to get from O to X is to go down from O to A and then work out what A to X is. And we know we should be able to do it because in the first part we worked out all of that and we also know that the ratio, remember, of A to, A to X compared to X to B is in the ratio 1 to 2 which means that we know that this length here is one third because if it's one part and two parts that's three parts overall that's one part out of three so this is one third of that there okay so first I'm going to write find a x so that part there okay now AX, let's just remember that AB, as we had before, is equal to minus 3A plus 6B. AX is a third of that. So a third of minus 3A plus 6b which is equal to a third of minus 3a is minus 1a so minus a and then a third of 6b is 2b plus 2b ok so we've got minus a plus 2b so we've just found what ax is a to x OA, we already know, so we can find OX, so part 3, OX is equal to OA plus AX, which is OA is 3A. And AX, as we found down here, is minus A plus 2B. So minus A plus 2B. And when you work all that out, what is it? You've got 3A take away A, because that plus minus means take away. So 3A take away A is 2A, and 2B on its own there, so plus 2B which is the same. We've written them the other way around, but they are the same. They are the same. 2B plus 2A, that was 2 fifths of OY, and 2A plus 2B, that was OX. So we have shown that OX is equal to 2 fifths of OY.